Well, dearest people, we I think we need courage. What I mean by that is, you know, every second of the day, we're, we're sort of anxiously hoping nice things will happen, hoping the things we want will happen, hoping the things we don't want won't happen, you know, and we're, we're kind of constantly navigating all the time. But we have to have this courage just to know what we want and then to move forward. And then when the unexpected happens, you stub your toe or whatever it might be, like when I was in my youth, someone held me up with a gun. So maybe you don't wait for that to happen. We start with the small things. We start with the stubbing the toe. We, instead of, uh, you know, uh, instead of panicking about the problem, having aversion to it, which is the opposite to attachment, we greet it. It sounds so simple, but so let's start with the small things. You know, so when I said, in, like I said, in my youth, I got held up with a gun with some guy in New York, right? Out of the blue, this gun in my chest, I didn't expect it. And somehow my nature being a bit sort of, you know, whatever. And I remember thinking very clearly he's more afraid than me. And then very clearly thinking how ridiculous, there he is saying, give me your money. And I said, this is ridiculous. You're just, we're just as poor as you. Give me your money. Back and forth for a few minutes. It was ridiculous. But in the end, he walked away, you know. I mean, okay, don't wait till you held up with a gun. Start with a stub in the toe. Start with a small thing. Start with your boyfriend being mean to you. Start with the weather being lousy. If you have courage and, conf and, and face the thing, not have aversion to it, not have fear of it, not shrink from it, this makes us strong. This makes us courageous. We practice the courage and then we become courageous. And that means we become more steady and life is not so crazy for us. Sounds easy, but it's possible. And it starts, of course, as always, with knowing our minds, you know.